Well, hello there once again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to War of the Vikings, where you can play as the Vikings or the Saxons. Two maps here available on the beta as I'm playing it. Conquest Docks is the first one, and uh, Cliffs is the other one. Conquest, of course, is the game mode. Uh, multiplayer Team Deathmatch and uh, Conquest are both available. Kind of capture the objectives and such. We're going to try to play as the Vikings, so I'm going to spam that button, but we'll probably uh, get stuck as the uh, Saxons. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of click away until we can... Uh, or we'll just play as the Saxons. Oh, <laughs> Every time I leave my, every time my mouse moves, of course, we'll, we'll play as the Saxons. But anyway, uh, Vikings versus the Saxons, all the classes here I'll kind of explain. But basically, uh, we're going to spawn here in just a second. We kind of spawn in waves. And of course, this is your typical, uh, this is your typical domination mode. You can help heal allies. You can run on in. There's uh, multiple weapons you can use, uh, throwing axes. Uh, there are not customizable classes yet. But anyway, let's get in here and see if we can get some first blood here for ourselves rather than getting knocked down. This guy's bandaging, bandaging himself and looks like we did knock him down pretty good looks like there's a uh, secondary axeman behind us and looks like we've got an ally coming up behind him so we'll finish him off all right nice and that was pretty good Ooh, now we gotta help our friend out hold on let's see if we can block that okay we got hit pretty good with that oh we got me first okay so we got a nice knockdown there and we um he, that guy, since he's gotten a kill, is kind of on a raid. So you got default warrior champions, skirmishers, other champions and warriors that come with different weapons, including the javelin and the uh, battle axes that you can throw, swords, longbows, and uh, also just, uh, what are the other ones, uh, bearded longbows and so, or, uh uh, what is it? The uh, hunting bow is the other one as well. I like playing as the uh, just the regular champion, so we'll kind of keep that up. See if we can push the enemy back. Only four objectives to capture here in this game mode, and I really like playing it. Let's try out these uh, throwing axes now. By the way, when you're running, you can't have a weapon out, and it looks like we're getting hit, getting hit by a, uh, by a arrows somewhere. It looks like one of our friends is down. We'll immediately revive him. We're good to go. We're going to kind of hold our ground. He's going to try to get behind us. Let's tackle that some bitch. You ain't going nowhere. This is my house, bitch. Oh, we got up quick. He might have that as a perk. We'll uh, finish him off. He's basically done. Yep, once you run behind enemy lines, you're kind of screwed. Uh, they're trying to take the storehouse, so that's kind of what that whole rush was about, though, is try trying to push their uh, territory forward. We'll kill him, finish him off. Uh, you can also do a special move for each different class, whether they have a sword or... Oh, looks, let's try our special move right now, see if we can hit this guy. Oh, very close, and he uh, got a good hit on us, too. we got our allies here. He's doing some good blocking, so we'll keep his attention while that other guy tries to finish him, and it looks like he did. Perfect. Now, of course, this is more of a conquest mode, so it's not so important to stay alive. But you can also bandage yourself. That's something we should do. Let's come back here. If you hit B, we'll uh, watch this other battle go on. Six seconds to heal, by the way. All right, and uh, as you can see, it's much easier two-on-one or three-on-one, so attacking is a little harder. Enemy's almost got the storehouse, so we got to come back around him and try to cut off the... Uh, cut off the... Uh, you also need to watch your power as you're uh, swinging your axes. You kind of have to time things perfectly. As you can see, that guy tried to get us with his sword. He hit us there and blocked. We're trying to counter with the right. Wait for him to swing and then swing back. Try to get around his shield. And I'm going to come in with my nice... Oh, okay. We're starting to starting to get weaker here. He's going to try to push us back. And it's time for us to get out of here. So let's see if we can get back to our allies. He'll try to tackle. Lead him back to our homies. See if we can fight them back a little bit. This is not going to end well for us. Low stamina. And it's a uh, three-on-one, as you can see. But I'm keeping them at bay. Let's get on our ship. Good hit there. Guy's trying to flank around the other side. That axe is a pretty good weapon. Try to get a small combo there. So uh, basically, we don't. We, we definitely. Oh, by the way, we're we can still be revived here, even though they've hit us. An uh, ally can come over and revive. And there you go. Finally finished off. Yeah, so finishing moves on this game, a little difficult to do. Uh, obviously, you can kind of, it's sort of like uh, Warband, where you can kind of, you know, click and, you know, if you click from the left or whatever. I don't know, apparently there's some way to change the way that you attack. Like, for instance, from up above, I haven't yet mastered that. Like, for instance, I would like to attack from above, but it's not doing it. Alt, of course, uh, lets you move around. I've already shown you healing. There's an archer there trying to uh, get a shot off on the enemy. Here they come. Too bad we don't have any frag nades. Oh, and our axe just uh, got taken out. Let's pick up a, a javelin instead then. What's up, bitch? And uh, try to get a try to get a guy there. We'll pick up... We do not have any throwing axes now. We'll pick up a... Uh, can we throw one of these? Yes, we can. This one's short enough. Trying to get the skirmisher back there. Looks like we got a nice head hit there. Not a head shot, but a head hit. What's up, baby? Right in the face. Point blank range. No effect. No shield either, so... 
that's kind of a uh, pointless to go on. But uh, again, I wanted to. I was more concerned about trying to kill those damn skirmishers. Anybody engaging you at a range is a real big threat, and you kind of want to get rid of them because they will basically chip away at you forever. Archers have unlimited ammo, so that's not uh, definitely not good for us. This blue means you're spawning, and then you have to click to spawn in, which I think is kind of stupid. I mean, once I've respawned, I'm good to go. But it does allow you to change your class if you're not ready. And uh, anyway, look at the big skirmish going on here. The enemy will win if we can't push them back. I was in travel mode, so that's why our uh, that's why our uh, weapon kept coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple sh uh, axes at these guys. Try to hit, hit them in the legs. Got an archer coming from our left side. I see him over there on the on the on the docks. We're gonna wait until he comes up. And we'll get him in the legs. Oh, see. Now, the hitbox on this game is a little strange. We'll play as a different character now, but uh, you, you really need to, like, get in close. That That's why I use the axe, but we'll try our default warrior, which has a little longer sword. You can actually l use a lunge attack to uh, try to g get the enemy, which you see there, and you can just stab him right in the throat. Takes a lot of stamina, the white bar just above the green one. Green one, of course, at the bottom is health, and uh, I've been playing this for quite a while now, and a lot of enjoyment here. Uh, you can call it uh, Sweden Simulator 2014 if you want. This is pretty much a replica of Stockholm right now. This is actually from Google Street View. So we'll try to come in from behind. They, they see me. They're ready to engage. Bowman, of course. Yep. Guy healing there. <laughs> Went up to 100% health. Oh, come on now. So some of the things like that, it's weird. Like, guys will just tap you. Like, nope, beep. They'll just bop you, and, and you go down 1,500 health. Meanwhile, it's hard to finish off a guy you're, you're stabbing into the lungs, and uh, no, no effect. So... Let's try, uh, let's try the bow and arrow ourselves. We'll try the skirmisher and see what we can do and uh, see if we can get a couple wins in here. So this is a good spot for us to be just behind the boat. See if we can get some uh, nice shots here. Oh, okay. No target there. We're, uh, we'll lose. There we go. Okay, there's a good hit. 51 XP there. Keep these guys on their toes at least. If we fire bows back, it means we can uh, definitely keep them moving. And that lowers their accuracy. We've got a nice spot to stand here. Oh, and a good headshot, even though we had moved. That's one of the more frustrating things about games, too, by the way, is uh, you always get killed by the sniper rifle once you've turned the corner, entered a window, sat down at a computer, checked your Facebook, and then comes up the feed for the if, for the kill. It's like, what the hell? I, I was already out of sight. Always frustrating. But always aim for the head. So we've got uh, here we've got a javelin, and we've got our long axe, and that'll help us with range. And uh, we're not getting anywhere across this damn bridge, so let's try to go under the bridge. And, uh, oh, there we go. We got a bro who wants to bro down, so let's go for it. He's trying to finish off an ally. <laughs> I tried to... You see what I mean about these hitboxes? I'm carrying an axe, ladies and gentlemen. That should have pretty incredible range. Zero hits, zero hits, zero hits. And he killed himself by going into the water. We'll put up our, uh, we'll try to block a bow, bow if we can. Who knows? You never know how that's going to work. Got an ally here about to be killed off. That Viking, or that uh, damn Viking blocked it. Want to play as the Vikings? Oh, all right, Burrow. What's up? Let's see if we can get him in his... Oh, come on now. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. And again, not registering by the game. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So it looks like everybody's healing up here. We're going to cross the bridge. I doubt we'll recapture that area. We've got more bowmen coming in from over here. How frustrating. He's gonna he's gonna switch to his uh, arrows and just a set or from arrows to uh yeah these guys are just an obnoxious as hell that's so that's basically what happens they lure you out and then uh, you get finished off from a guy from behind by the way seven deaths four kills not so important by the way on the deaths here but uh, I'm definitely there's perks as well I should have mentioned that you have uh, perks like heavy armor forty percent damage reduction and brawler uh, you got your juggernaut here which is you're not knocked down by enemy attacks while sprinting. So uh, we're going to switch back to my favorite then. And of course there's more to these classes. But we'll uh, try to get our... Um, ooh, looks like we're attacking a storehouse. That's good. We finally made progress. I guess our pushes across the bridge are growing fruit. Okay, that was a good headshot. Bullshit though. I'm that. By the way, that's the most frustrating thing too. Is uh, I can barely hit targets when they're stationary. Meanwhile, I'm sprinting at full sprint and, uh, and uh, supposed to be immune to most things. I want to kill those uh, archers right away. That's really starting to be the most frustrating thing coming from that right side. So we're going to just uh, see if we can uh, start moving and blocking here. We probably got one of these dudes on our... Oh, yep, you can already hear the bows coming by. Oh, okay, now we got a counterattack. Look at that. We're getting hit by a Gatling, Gatling gun in the front. Our shield's now gone. Hold on, we'll uh, take up a nice blocking position here and wait for one of these dudes. Good, got him in the face. 
Perfect. There's another good hit. Let's get our revive our homie. Hopefully he can get up here and uh, at least. Uh, by the way, you know, reviving guys and having the enemy refinish them off allows your reinforcements to come in too. Every couple waves, you will die a lot. Uh, of course, I'm not the best player, and I should probably be using more of my specials and such. And you know, d different tactics work differently at, at different uh, areas, but. Uh, so long as we don't get pushed back and so long as the enemy's dying, then that's good. We're going to try to flank on this side. Uh, there's probably going to be, again, another bowman and another axe, uh, guy with an axe over here somewhere. I'm uh, not seeing anybody yet, but uh, what we do want to do is we want to come up completely behind and try to get stealth. And, of course, when you try to do that, that's when it always goes to hell. You'll stand, you'll walk up right behind somebody with your, with your weapon out, and that's when they, uh, I don't know where that bow came from, but, uh, yeah, not good. There's a, there's one of those little bastards right now. And, of course, he probably almost got a headshot on us. Eh, he got hit with the sword, though. Oh, come on now. I entered my BA move before you, sir. Uh, coming up from the back, though, does, you know, usually when dudes see you, three or four of them will, look at this. Look, Did you see all those guys just attacking me? That's the perfect opportunity for our bowmen to attack. And this has kind of turned into some weird stalemate. So let's see if we can, uh, well, let's try if we can go back to our default warrior. See if we can uh, mix up the stalemate here a little bit. The enemy, of course, has the advantage. But I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It's in beta. Of course, you'll have to pay for it. Early access. Um, I'm, I'm assuming a fair price. W runs pretty well. I've heard some members of the Rat Pack have a little bit of trouble with it. Uh, not, uh, not in the terms of gameplay, but uh, we're, we're just going to sit here and... Look at this. Even this damn... Look at so many of those guys have bow and arrows. It's ridiculous. Now that guy should be dead right away. He's now blocking. We're going to try to get behind him and finish him off. There we go. And it's not easy to... Uh, not easy being green and not easy stabbing dudes. Oh, he's parrying there. Uh, yeah, you can... I think you can... I don't know. The, the mouse controls I have not yet been able to master. And that's a little unfortunate because... Uh, now yeah, we'll just rip right quick to respond. A little unfortunate because really the angle of attack is the most important. And of course, you know, it says if you... Well, I just hit a friendly, but if you swing to the left and then swing to the right... Okay, I think I may actually have this now. Okay, so left, right. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, of course, it just takes practice like anything else. Here they come across the bridge. So I was actually going to use the throwing axe there, but I didn't switch to it properly. But anyway, we'll use a couple of those. We got the bowman up on the up on the uh, bridge, so that's typical crap from them is just to stay up there. Guy trying to get a nice stab on us. Us doing a nice cross. He's going to open up his left side again, so we'll try to stab left. A little more strategic now, isn't it? Real sword fights usually last about three seconds anyway. One thing I don't want to do is expose my uh, backside due to the fact that uh, you know this guy's trying to come up behind us behind the stingray cart. All right, now we're gonna just gonna oh, come on. Now it's gonna break from cover and come up from behind him. But look at look at this. He can't even finish me off. Still not finishing me off. He wasted time. Now a friendly can come over and re revive me. Hopefully this guy wakes up a little bit and come. Now see here, what he should have done is he should have revived me. And not only does it deny the enemy a kill if you're doing like uh, team deathmatch, but it also you know it literally takes five seconds to be revived. So. Uh, or two, real, really just two. Well, I mean, his job here is done. He can now leave. It's going to take a little bit of a cutscene. But when I'm getting up, the enemy is going to have to either finish me quick or they're going to have another one on their hands. So it's really like killing zombies, you know. If you uh, don't kill the enemies, if you don't finish the enemy, you're going to have a bad time. All right, we've got an uh, enemy up here. We're going to try to slice him. Oh, oh, that was pretty good. Didn't hit him, but uh, that's a, one thing i got to get in closer. A lot, of, a lot of things to this game. Of course, those of you who play Warband and such are probably held a lot more used to that than me trying to really get in on these guys. Got this guy who was like the executioner here. I'm going to actually run from him in a second. It's too much for me. Now that that's them tackling and usually they mix, miss especially with that big axe which is weird because they've got the ranged attack but accuracy is slim to none. So uh, every time he hits our shield by the way our stamina go, goes down a little bit. He can do some pretty nice quick attacks with that thing but uh, two on one he's going to lose. And uh, let's see if it happens now. There's still the two-on-one, and there it is. 
gets uh, well of course they're right next to the spawn point he's pushing a little bit too deep but uh, they're now taking the riverbank so when you're playing with uh, more friends that you can communicate with uh, me and spunk have been playing a lot it uh, really is a lot better to play with friends you can coordinate attacks you can go into shield positions like that and you can take out these damn archers and there's the damn executioner again i'm going to execute his ass there we go take that bitch special attack really does a lot of damage there's the executioner again i'm gonna have to pull back and uh, heal up here oh allies down so here's what you do you get up there quick Heal this bro up. Take your... Now, see, he's healing. Could distract the enemy. <laughs> he's healing. <laughs> get sniped by the... Uh, get sniped by the... Uh, by the uh, bow. But anyway, that's what you're supposed to do. I was trying to... Oh, okay. I'm still healable. Somebody can come right up and uh, push across this bridge. What we need to do is we need to not push across the bridge. We should probably go under the bridge and up over that ramp you see to the left. Uh, it's going to be nothing but crazy bows. In fact, I wonder if you can see the number of bows. We'll just uh, right-click to respond. But you can see we're trying to push deep into the territory really liking the uh, really liking the uh, the uh, axes by the way a little easier than the sword because the sword you kind of got a mm, you have the option of stabbing oh it looks like he died so uh, we'll go ahead and squat down here for a minute and dive out of this dude's way oh you're versus a skilled fighter my friend two on one of course is always probably gonna be your demise but uh, there you go you get if you hold long enough you can and he's finished if you hold long enough, you can kind of distract somebody and let the enemy come up on them. I'm going to get one of these skirmishers here, and uh, we're going to get blocked by a bro. And of course, this, oh, and then of course you get the damn axemen everywhere. All right, now I know this map, so I'm going to kind of come back up this way up the ramp. And uh, oh, look at that! So now look at this. I'm distracting. Uh, I'm opening the main door. You know, I I have two or possibly three guys on me while the while our allies, at least the bowmen, aren't going to be able to do anything while they're attacking me. So it gives you a nice opportunity to stop the fire for a minute and let your damn troops cross the bridge. Uh, he, meanwhile, here we got the executioner again, and I don't know how he gets these little. He's got a long-ranged weapon, but is able to do these little quick attacks. So that's kind of BS. It's two-handed. Oh, I was gonna switch. I was gonna switch classes by hitting escape. That's not good. Let's try to do this. Um, we'll do. We'll be our own executioner now, and uh, see if we can. Uh, I guess we can't attack while we're doing it, but can't attack us, dude. We haven't yet even spawned. Oh, really? Come on now. All right, I'm not even going to mess with that because that's just going to lead to trouble, us getting hit. Here's Jake. What's up, Jake? Oh, snap, from behind. Okay, so they're sitting on our spawn point now. That's not good. I should be able to get these little... There we go. That's a good finisher. Coming from uh, the right side now, coming from above. Okay, I kind of am understanding this a little bit more. Of course, I'm learning. I've only been playing it for a few hours, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop over to our second weapon now, which should be our javelin. Nice thing is, once you select a second, once you run, he'll put the weapon away, and once you stop, that whatever weapon you had previously will be popped back into your hands. So we've got to heal up a little bit, and the uh, match is pretty much almost over. The Vikings are holding. Of course, there's no... I don't know how the map actually calculates. I, I don't know if it's... Ooh, shit. The guy scared the hell out of me. Oh, come on, bro. All right, you know what? Oh, come on now. I'm still alive, though. But anyway, oh, and you had the javelin stick in him. That was a pretty good hit. So uh, battles like that really get intense because it's personal for quite a long time. It's not just like cod blobs where you 360 no scope and then uh, a 360 no scope and then uh, just basically shoot off a sniper rifle fully automatically, creating a fully automatic sniper rifle, a.k.a. this phaser. Let's go ahead and see if we can toss this knife at this bra. Oh, what, bitch? I should have got you in the face. There we go. I get a, quite a few of these things. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have unlimited throwing knives? Oh, okay. I was going to say, what the hell? That's my new favorite weapon. See, now that's some bullshit. Did you see me move in on that guy and there was no... Let's go up. Come on. Come come from the right side. Yeah, see, and they're just rehealing, dude. So you definitely want to finish them off like I just did. And, of course, all these... See... Again, it's such BS. I'm, I'm doing these crazy axe wings and no contact. You really got to be on top of people, unless you're the enemy. Then you can just f kill from range. And uh, let's go ahead and... we got a Nice thing about attacking with the axe is that you can hold it for a lot longer, too. And uh, we're going to be up in just a second here. It should uh, undo the right click to respond if you're... Uh, here's Jake again. You can, uh, by the way, the long axemen have a much 
greater reach and also can take out enemy shields. I'm gonna come in from the right side, right side again. Left side, oh, oh, right side again, actually. We'll just keep keep it up on the right. Oh, there we go, we're knocking knocking dudes down. There we go, our time to shine. Here's the executioner. Hitting them. Oh, come on now. But you can only last so long. So, of course, uh, you know, each class is um, each class is definitely a lot different, and I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, I must say, uh, I'm going to actually play through some more of them now. We'll play as the, uh, let, no, CQC Skirmisher. We're going we're gonna to play as the champion again. And uh, kind of keep keep that up. Uh, Spunked is very very good with the I believe the default champion, which is a, a sword and two throwing axes and a shield, and that really can help you get a nice range on the enemy. Of course, the axe I like because it can really get around the shield, which a lot of players are figuring out how to. I mean, obviously that's the first thing you want to learn is how to block and how to. Oh, here we go, here we go. Storehouse is under our, our under our capture now. Here comes a. Here comes the uh, executioner up there, as I call him. Ooh, whoop. Oh, yep, immediate with the bow. Phalanx fire from the air with the bow. There you go. I probably got killed by a bow even. Uh, oh, nope, an axe. But anyway, this is why you stay alive too. It, it gives the enemy more. Look at that, how he was having to stand there and finish me off. That's a very important thing in this game. Before you're dead, it, try to stay alive a little longer and uh, try to let the enemy kind of, you know, let them waste their time on you while you're allies get across the bridge here where it's become this is the part where derps uh, just enter a team team deathmatch mode because they're more focused on defending like the spawn point than actually attacking the enemy which is unfortunate so uh, we're gonna kinda keep up our block here and uh, you always even though I'm getting hit with arrows and it's being frustrating you always wanna block uh, let's actually uh, switch back to our longbow and uh, f start attacking look apparently I'm under I, apparently I was killed in my spawn zone, my health actually went to zero. So what BS is that with the bow? Uh, so you got the three. Well, there's there's your problem over there. The 360 no scopers over here. Obviously no scope because there's a no scope on a bow. So uh, here's uh, here's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna play just like the enemy. Oh look at that! I'm a brawler now. What's up, bro? Hold on, just wait. Oh, so we can just stand here all day. Oh, see now you're gonna have to deal with that dude coming across the bridge, bro. All right, so we'll uh, we're probably gonna get attacked on our side, by the way, and it's a real pain to try not to shoot your allies, which you can easily do. And uh, we're gonna come over here now, try not to uh, interfere too much on the bridge. Oh, whatever, dude. I got you right in the eyeball. Uh, let's go for Viking there. See, when they're standing and finishing them off, that's perfect opportunity to counterattack the enemy and uh, move in with bows and whatnot. Not sound system, but with bows and arrows. Here they come across the bridge now. They're going to be throwing everything they got at me. They're going to have to first take out our ally on the bridge. Bow, bow reload time is a little slow. They're definitely getting around our defenses now. They're going under the bridge. And they're going to watch for that to see if we can shoot them. Oh, there we go. Got him in the crotch there, I think. That guy's going crazy. Executioner again. Guys remind me of the chainsaw dudes from uh, Resident Evil. Wanted to live stream this game. Had a little trouble on our uh, team speak recently. And uh, so we kind of, you know, all this cold weather and everything's kind of screwing with everything. Somebody probably went off the, uh, went off the road and slammed into a telephone pole or something, knocked out power for an entire region. Who knows? But anyway, we uh, will live stream on this game in the future. This game is almost over. Seven minutes remaining. I think they'll capture our last point, but I'm gonna give this game its dues. Some down downfalls, of course. The hitboxes are a little funky. You know, I, I, I mean, again, each weapon kind of is vastly different than the previous, but. Uh, you some I mean again I've been killed 30 times by skirmishers uh, with, with arrows or with uh, not with arrows but with um, with axes like that what this dude's doing I'm gonna actually retreat a little bit now and let our let our friend kind of get some shots off too always look behind you make sure you got an ally behind you and uh, draw the enemy into them oh that would have been a nice headshot and uh, we'll go back to the other side now can't push through there looks like we're making some progress on the bridge but just far too little far too late we got the executioner over here throwing up gang signs. What's up, bro? I thought I, I thought I shot you. All right, we'll come back over here uh, to the boat and uh, see if we can get some more sniping off. Sniping off the, the first of the uh, Soviet aer aeronautics divisions. Okay, see, we're <laughs> getting shot from bows. How? Where? Oh, all the way over there by the boathouse. I see. What's up, cutie? Okay, so we're. I'm gonna keep an eye on that guy. There he is. What's up, beauty? Oh, there we go. A little bit of damage. And now he's got a contest with the guy who's chased him. 
So as long as we can relieve pressure on the bridge, our guys can get across. Looks like we're starting to make some progress now. They're trying to capture Riverbank, and uh, we need to recapture that storehouse. Hard to push the enemy, but uh, they, we've definitely reached a stalemate here. And uh, I think actually with the clothes we're wearing, we're a lot less... Uh, really, I hit that guy and still not dead. Got to hold it a little bit longer, but I'm nervous to do it on the open uh, openness of the river here. Good damage on that guy. He may peek around again. Hold, 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 hold. Fire just in case. All right. Give us a little extra time. I'm actually liking the bow. I feel now that we're going to be attacked from the side. Now's the time to uh, counterattack hardcore from different angles and cut off the enemy. Five minutes remaining. Don't forget to tell a friend, like, comment, subscribe, all that for new games and content like this. Uh, War Game Airland Battle, War Game Red Dragon news as well, and of course, Metal War Assault Squad Dos. That's uh, that is German for two, uh, coming out very soon. Yes, of course, I know it's I know it's not German, it's Norwegian. So uh, let's see, we've got dudes running across the bridge. We're attacking from different angles. We've got a guy coming up on behind us. Look at them. This guy's just rolling down. Oh, he's look at that. He's rolling like a linebacker. Look at that guy. We're gonna let our own homie. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna trip us, and oh, he's not gonna be able to counter in time. See, look at that. Went right through me. Complete BS. I like feel bad for that guy, but totally not. I'm still alive, by the way. Oh, now I'm dead. He finally finished. But anyway, lasted a long time as that character. Of course, that's kind of what those characters are supposed to do. Let's get back in there with the champion. No more of this sniping crap. However, we did pretty good. Causing damage to the enemy is important, but really, you need kills and you need to clear the way. Best way to do that. It's probably with the axe weapon that I was using. Nice thing about it is you can definitely counter the enemy, and I would just disregard those kind of counterattacks that combine. Those guys usually get finished off easily and swarmed by players who are kind of too afraid to attack and push forward. We, uh, gonna, okay. One thing I need to do is, uh, obviously, you know, do my, uh, my, uh, fancy footwork a little bit more. Move out of the, move out of the way of the enemy and, uh, get off this damn bridge. Let's finish them from behind. Nice, nice hit there. Oh, gonna re revive uh, allies here. Pull back a little bit. Let us regain, uh, regain the initiative. Kind of let the heavier players move up with us. Usually, people with full health will move up right away too. Once the way is a little bit more clear, and uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna move up a little bit more. This guy's blocking, or this guy's attacking. So we're blocking. We're gonna f flee a little bit. See if we can come in from the storehouse over here. Where the uh, where, where we got booze stored? Okay, apparently this guy wants to bro down, but I can't see it. I would I would be surprised if I actually killed that guy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flee. See if he can chase us. We're gonna do a little bit of jumping. If uh, if they happen to tackle you, but if you're tackled in an area where they can't engage, and by the way, I was hitting E on that. If you fall in the water, uh, Swedes can't swim. That is their only weakness, even though they've mastered the seas. Let's uh, go back to the warrior. I 